Valentine's Day and also my birthday is right around the corner. So let's make a delicious fun treat that is the perfect serving size for two people. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where we have a ton of fun in the kitchen every week creating delicious recipes. Today, we're going to be making an almond flour chocolate chip cookie skillet. Let's begin. In a small bowl, we're going to add in one half of a cup plus two extra tablespoons of almond flour, which is a wonderful gluten-free and high-protein flour alternative. Next, I'm going to add in three to five tablespoons of coconut sugar, just depending on how sweet you want your cookie to be. I'm also using a vanilla coconut sugar to up the flavor a little bit. For our spices today, I'm going to add in one half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. This next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean sourced collagens powder, and this is just going to help support skin, joint, hair, nail, teeth, bone, and digestive health. Whisk together all of your dry ingredients. This also helps to get rid of any lumps that there might be in your almond flour or your coconut sugar. Next, I'm going to add in one and a half tablespoons of melted butter, ghee, or coconut oil. One beaten egg. For flavor, I'm going to add in 1 8 teaspoon of almond extract, which has a super strong flavor, so just be sure to measure it out carefully. You could also add in 1 quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract to this. I'm not going to. I use the vanilla coconut sugar and I think that will be just fine. Stir together your ingredients and then fold in 2 tablespoons or more of chocolate chips. You certainly could use stevia sweetened just to reduce the amount of sugar. In a greased 8 inch cast iron skillet, pour in your cookie batter and spread it around. If you'd like, you can sprinkle a few extra chocolate chips right on top. In a 375 degree preheated oven, bake for 10 or more minutes just depending on how gooey you want your cookie to be. Cool on a cooling rack. It is time to give this cookie a taste. It is still warm. This coconut cream that I put on top is just melting all into it, so I imagine it's going to be amazing. I'm not even going to cut myself a piece, and I'm just going to eat right out of the skillet. Let's give it a taste. Oh my goodness. It's buttery, super flavorful. You would never know that I used almond flour. It's nice and moist. This is a definite winner. I hope you give this one a try, and I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, keep taking great care of yourself so that you show up as your best self for all those that you love. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.